another um, good way to help people access the content that you have in there is the navigation. So if we take a look on, um, uh, let's see, over in publishing again, on our pages page, you can see there's another column here that says in nav. And that just lets you know if that page is included in your navigation on Church Center, which means that people are able to find that link and get to that page. So we've got a bunch of these that have a check mark. Now, if we want to update this, the place that we go is over to the Customize page. So let's do that. And that's where we have this Navigation tab. Now, the way that this works is actually if we can, um, let's see, pull up the mobile apps, we can see both of these together. It helps you to get the idea. So these first four um, are the highlighted ones right here. And that just means if you look over at the mobile app, that that um, bar, navigation bar at the bottom, those are the ones that are going to show up right there. No matter where you go, those are always going to be available. So that's really, you know, the prime real estate for the stuff that you want people to be able to see. But a lot of times you have more than that, and that's why we have that more option. And so when you click on the more, that um, is the rest of those links that you want to have available too. Now, it's always a little bit tricky to figure out how much to put here because you want stuff to be here so people can find it. But if you have too much, then it makes it difficult for people to sort through. So you got to just kind of feel out what's the right amount of things um, to include in this navigation. But you've got a lot of options. And if you want to um, change anything, of course, it's really easy to just um, click and drag and move stuff around like this. Um, you can also go ahead and add um, other items whenever you want to. And you can include all kinds of stuff here. Um, again, you can also you can include um, external links here. This doesn't have to just be stuff from within publishing. So again, if you've got another page, another site um, that you want people to be able to find, you can actually include it right here in the navigation, which is pretty cool. You just got to put the the URL for that page right here. But if the uh, there's something in publishing that you want to link to, again, you don't need to have that full exact URL. You just search for it. So um, I realize we don't have groups uh, in our navigation right now. We're just about to go ahead and launch our new small groups for the year. We want to make sure this is available. So we'll search for groups, find the groups page. We can change the label if we want to. You know, if you've got a special name for your groups or something like that, but we'll just, we'll just leave it like that for now. And then each of these nav items gets an icon. Because this is groups, it automatically is selecting this one, which is kind of our default for groups. But you can look through the list. If you want to change that to something else, you can go ahead and do that. And for your custom pages, you can pick whichever one of these is going to um, seem like the right fit for that icon. And you can go ahead and do that. Now, uh, so groups has shown up down at the bottom here as I have added it. But I want to make sure that this is easy for people to see. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to pull it up and say, you know, let's actually put this up here. Um, and let's see, we're going to do that, and then we're going to move our, our sermons, and so we'll move the check-ins down there. So we've moved a couple things around, and the same thing as saving a custom page. We have to um, actually lock this in and then publish it, so we'll go ahead and save draft. And then if you just keep your eye over on that navigation bar over in the Church Center mobile app, when we go ahead and publish, then it makes the change. And now um, that's updated. Um, oh, there's one other piece that I actually want to highlight on here to make sure you're aware of. And that is up at the very top of this page, there's this uh, toggle on and off for make me the start page. And what that is, um, if we want to actually look at the uh, mobile app, is that profile um, picture in the top right, if you click on that, that takes you to the me page, um, if you were with us earlier, that you can see here. And this is customized to every individual person. So uh, we've got our sample person, Brandon here, who's part of the church. And this is pulling in all of the stuff directly connected to him. So uh, it's stuff that's on his calendar. He's got his um, services requests that he can respond to from right here and accept or decline right there. He's got um, events that he can sign up for. He's got other items that are on his calendar. He's got his small groups that he's a part of, um, other things. And Brandon can do all of this from the Me page. He can always access that by clicking that profile picture up in the top right of the screen. But what you can do with this toggle over here back in publishing is if you turn this on, 
then what that does is it makes it the start page for the Church Center experience. So whenever somebody opens up the Church Center app, it takes them directly to the me page instead of the home page. Now, the home page still exists. They can still go to the home page, but it starts them on the me page. So that's kind of up to you how you're using Church Center, what you have on your homepage, what people tend to have in their me pages, and just what you think is going to be most helpful for the people in your church, where you want them to start that Church Center experience every time they open up the app. Um, so we'll turn that back off for now, but that's a, an option that is available to you.